As the final bit of our tunnel shell design, we'll look at some more template and shape creation, as well as positioning and interpolation. So we'll create a third template now. We'll call it template three. We don't want to copy anything, but we will apply it to station 80. We're going to create a shape in there, and we want to be able to interpolate to it, so we'll call it shape one. And it'll be in a template three, a tutorial tunnel, and we don't want to copy anything. So okay, and we're brought to our blank shape editor. This time we want to create a new shape. So we'll go ahead and start entering some, entering some geometry. Start here, similar to our other one, negative three offset. And align elevation offset, going vertical five meters. And for this, we're just going to create a square shape. You'll see it being built here in tunnel mesh as we create it in our shape editor. We want to go over five meters. And finally, down five meters. So you can see we have this mesh here that exists here, but we don't have the interpolation that we want right here. And the reason for that is the second rule is then that we don't have the same amount of nodes. So if we look at our other shape one in template two, we can open up the shape editor from right clicking or from the ribbon. And we can see that we have four segments that exist. One, two, three, and four. If we want to interpolate between these two shapes, we need to ensure we have the same number of nodes or segments. So we'll go back into our shape one from our template three, and we'll divide this line into two. To do that, we can insert rows. And this new row that's inserted, it's gonna be a, a zero segment. So right now we have four, we can get some interpolation. If we look at our tunnel view and we scroll to station 60, we can also see this interpolation. We can see the slant as we can see that the center point of our arch tunnel shape is going into the corner where that extra point was added in our square shape. So what I want to do here is make this nice and smooth and we'll make this a two and a half meter segment make this a two and a half meter segment. So now the, the arc that we had before will interpolate nicely into this flat one. So we can go ahead and close these and we can look at the tunnel view. It'll show off really well. Starting at station 60, we can see it shrinking and going down flat into that square shape. We now have all the skills to create the outline of our tunnel design. Continue watching to see how we can export this design and additional editing to the tunnel in relation to its alignment.